We have been on a massive journey in sports this year. We have been looking at how we can improve provision for children through the curriculum and then by extension through after school clubs. Last year when we looked at our stats, we had 20% of pupils taking part in an, act in an after school club in some form of sports provision, which we felt just wasn't good enough and it wasn't meeting our people needs after parent surveys. By the end of the year, having specifically targeted different sports, different opportunities for children, we had 91% of our children taking part in some sort of physical activity out with school hours, which we're so, so proud of. Throughout the year, we've also had focuses on a variety of different sports to allow children to have tasters and then creating pathways to clubs so that they can pursue something that they're really particularly interested in. They've also had the opportunity to meet lots of different sports stars from different um, disciplines across the sporting world, which has been a great experience for children because they've learned so much from them and they've really worked hard in developing that growth mindset. Our sports has the sports programme has been a huge focus in our school assemblies as well and has always linked back to our school vision and values of dream big, work hard and shine bright. There are so many demands on parents just now. Um, children learn in many different ways. We also don't have the same family networks that we maybe had 20, 30 years ago. So having events like this is able to upskill parents, able to help them develop their own parenting skills as well as having fun and learning with their children. It's just changing views of the police and just engaging with the community is kind of key. What it does for the kids and the support that the parents give, it's absolutely fantastic. I have heard from other um, parents in other schools where Glen Boyg way excels, excels what it does for the, the community and for the kids, so it's brilliant. When I first came to Glen Boyg, I, I got a really good feel for the school. It's a good community school. It's like an um, old school way of doing it where the school is a focal point for the community. Just like a church could be a focal point for the community, the school is a focal point. And the school is trying to do something like that with this day here today to get people from this community to come into the school and show just the life of the school. And so it's not just a place for reading and writing, it's more than that. And that's what I loved about coming to the school of Glen Boyd. They're trying to get out there in the community and the surrounding area. So we want people that might not usually come along to things like this, especially sport, to give them the opportunity of it not being a brand new thing that everybody's here all together. Um, so I think it breaks down that barrier of it being a brand new scary thing. It's somewhere where they already know. We find that in Glen Boyd we have a wide variety of children who have got a wide variety of talents. So because of that, we feel that it's necessary to make sure that they are provided with a wide variety of sport. The biggest outcomes that we've had recently is we have adult uh, three-wheeler bikes, where we've had 19-year-olds, 90-year-olds recently, out on these bikes. And one of the, the outcomes that we've really seen with the cycles is that adults that maybe haven't been able to cycle uh, for various health reasons in the past are now out cycling within our community. Female basketball provision within Glen Boyd is huge at the moment. Um, and we are at the Lady Ops really keen on getting our athletes out there to engage with the young girls and hopefully as they come through that sporting pathway from primary school into high school they still stay physically active in the first, second, third year where we see a lot of girls dropping off um, in all our range of sports and if they choose to not play sport at a higher level then they transfer over to you know, leadership roles such as table official coordinators, head coaches, sports leaders, all the other things so it's really important that we as a club engage down and not just expect the kids to engage up with us. The issue with sports in today's society is that it needs a lot of voluntary input in order for it to be sustainable and continue and so it's really important that people can come in and feel like they have a they have a home with the activities that they're delivering here. Through that what we need to do then is, is try and tie them in so that they don't just participate in the sport but that they can actually activate the sport. Through the different clubs and opportunities that we've had we've been able to forge lots of relationships with so many different partners which have benefited our pupils. And our next stage of development is to look at how we can engage with the community. The school's in a really privileged and fortunate position to be the centre of a, a very special community here at Glen Boyd. So we see that that is our opportunity to take what we've been doing in sports and start to make links, better links with the community, further links with the community, bring more people into the school and so that children can take part in, in more sports around the area and start to build that idea of a sports hub and a sporting community within our village.